Holly, is, is it fair to say Brian was compromised at all there in the ninth? Was it a finger an issue that may have led to some of that from the control? Can you take us through that? But yeah, once we went out there, he said he started to lose a little bit of feel for his uh, pitches. Um, so I would have to say yes. Yeah, he felt good when he came off the first time. Went back out, uh, no issues early on, but then said he started to lose feel. So. What do you have to do in that spot? How quickly do you have to kind of get a read on him? A couple walks, obviously, but you can get it back. Then the hit batter just... Yeah, the hit, the hit batter is enough. Uh, you're hoping he gets it back. It's been super reliable all year. Obviously, we were aware of the, the issue with the finger. One an issue early on didn't show any signs of it. Um, once you go back to back walks, you're, you're thinking this is the last hitter. And uh, hit by pitch, that point ends up. Is there any hesitation to pitch in multiple innings, not knowing what that might look like after you guys have good reports on the injury? Or do you have to just treat that as, hey, it's good to go up to five or good? Yeah, you check every box. Um, we've been honest with each other all year. You say you're good to go, and then you're good to go. Yeah. Katie? Ollie, what came up with the decision between Palante and Jack? Yeah, it was a tough one. Um, you're sitting there. Uh, Segura's a high ground ball guy, 60% ground ball guy against righties all year. Palante's a high, high ground ball guy. That matchup has it above 70%. You got one out. Uh, the situation is basically you want to end the game there with the ground ball to a play. If there's two outs, that go to Jack and go for the punch out. So um, you're just playing the outs and probability there. When you're looking at the defensive positioning there, it look like maybe Evan was playing a little shallow in terms of the double play? Yeah, Segura could run, and he can easily just tap something in play and, and get going. So you want to make sure if it's not hit hard, you can get it out of the plate and give yourself a chance. If it's hit hard, then you're turning the double play. So he's positioned correctly there. John. Oh, that was a conversation I was going to have. Was there a conversation about playing the, the middle infielders back? You got the double play ball, or you got the ground ball you wanted. Was there a conversation about playing back for the double play? Um, yeah, we're in what we call an X play there, where you're you're tight enough that if it's hit soft, you're going to the plate. If it's hit hard, you can turn it. Um, you're going to have to get the right ground ball to get Segura. He can run. So you have to defend against both. So um, even if he's two steps back, that's the low glove side, you're not turning that double blood on zero. Yeah. Jeff? It, it loses, I guess, some of its meaning with the way the game turned out at that moment for you that's there in the seventh. You know, that was a spot that we talked about this morning that sort of manifested itself in an important way. was the importance of that to just get the offense going a little bit. Yeah, everybody has their role on this roster, and they understand kind of where they fit and how they're going to fit into the game. Um, yep, he came in, exactly what we talked about, and a uh, big swing, two-run homer. Uh, to get us going there. And then uh, same thing with Gorman. We talked about the versatility of being able to come in if they tie it after. And uh, he came out with base hit. So guys did their job, unfortunately. That last thing got away. Alvin, do you know what this means for right now? Do you moving forward? Not yet. Uh, no, we'll go in and get a feel for it. If I had a, if I had a guess, we'll get some images and uh, see if there's anything structurally wrong. And uh, if not, we'll make a decision whether he continues or if he's down. Well, did he tell you when he, the eighth inning, did he experience any of that after the eighth inning or did did he not have the numbers until the ninth? Yeah, nothing at all. So. You've leaned on him heavily all season. He's meant everything to you. If, if you don't have him going forward, how, how tough is that? Uh, we've had guys step up all year. If he goes down, someone else has to step up and do that job. So. It's part of it. No one's going to feel sorry for us. I'll tell you that. The way things unraveled in the ninth just seems so uncharacteristic for this club, known for its composure and keeping calm. How do you feel like that trade is going to help them wash this game and bounce back for game two? Um, I think we'll be fine. I mean, the, these guys all year have done a nice job of whether we win a big game or lose a big game. The next day is a new day. This will be no different. Uh, we know what's at stake. We either win or go home. Um, we'll embrace that. Um, just a quick follow-up, two questions. One follow-up on the Helsi. He had thrown so many pitches. Was it possible he might not be available anyway that, tomorrow? Possibility. So as you're thinking about that, the importance of winning this game, what, what, you, what do you think about like tomorrow, how, how you might close out a game? Does, does that go in at all to like a Flaherty, Palante decision? Uh, yeah, that's why Palante continues there, because uh, if not, Jack may get some meaningful outs at the end of the game. So.
last night and we're going at you at the offense. Obviously, we learned from Tom Cole pitch very well. I feel like there were some moments out there where there were more offense to be had for you. I felt pretty darn good about our offense. You look at the first nine hitters, you had about four or five balls in play over 95. I, I thought we took really good swings off of uh, Wheeler. He did a nice job. He competed well. He made pitches. But uh, for as hard as we hit balls, uh, for him to throw up zeros was was impressive. Um, we had a good approach. Yeah. Rick? Uh, touching on the offense a little bit, when you had two on and nobody on, Albert and Goldschmidt coming up, did you feel that was a chance to maybe take a little jump on the game there? Uh, yeah, we took a shot. And they're both competing, and uh, we were one. But uh, absolutely, you got two guys on, and Albert as hot as he's been. Yeah, you feel good about that. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Ben? <coughs> what did you make of Q's performance today? And did the decision, the, the pitching stacked up after that like you wanted, you just didn't get the results you wanted. Did you wrestle at all with lifting him when you did, or was it was it exactly what you wanted there? Um, we knew coming into this game that there was a possibility that they'd throw in two righties um, between the lefties there in order for us to make a decision. Um, at that point in the game, we felt good about going to our pen and, and lining it up the way we did after the shorter at bat. You could have easily taken him through the two righties and then Harper. Um, we'd be asking the same questions if you walked Hoskins and were able to take it to our home. So uh, we, we liked the way we lined it up. Okay. Take what did you, sorry, what did you think about how he performed? Oh, he was awesome. Uh, I love the way he competed. Um, everything you would expect out of the guy that you named one. Um, but uh, Unbelievable job. Uh, mixed his pitches, um, kept guys off balance, a lot of soft contact early. Um, exactly what, what you would expect out of Q. He, he took this game no different than any other. He competed extremely well. <laughs> Take one last one on the left. Just get your mic over there. Hey, uh, just two quick ones. Uh, with Nolan Gorman coming through there in the end, it didn't end up scratching the runs that you guys needed, but He's been down in AAA. What did it mean for him to be able to come through and potentially what could have been a meaningful moment for you guys? It was good to see. Um, when you made the decision uh, to have him on the roster, it was the last decision we made on the position player side. And you're doing a couple things. You're, you're trusting him and his honesty as far as, hey, it hasn't looked good, but I'm in a good mental place to, to compete. So that's one thing. And then you're investing in um, the future having him on this roster, experiencing what this feels like, and coming up there and, and getting that base hit. Um, he'll build off of that for years to come, so I liked it. And then on that grounder to uh, Nolan Arenado there at the end, what did you see on that play? Can you kind of take us through your vantage point of that one that he wasn't able to make? Yeah, I'd have to take another look at it. Just looked like it went under the glove. I'm not sure. Um, and talk to him about it. The guy makes every play in the world, so. He's chopped up to baseball and keep moving. Yeah. Thanks, Ollie. Yeah.